Karma is an oriental word. It stands for a principle of Eastern philosophy, which to the average Western thinker, the term is objectionable, although the equivalent is found in the New Testament. As a man soweth, so shall he reap. And this is very largely the traditional explanation or interpretation of the word karma, where Buddha says, effects follow their causes, as the wheels of the cart follow the foot of the oxen. Therefore, we are dealing with cause and effect. The word is simply a term to signify that the effects are inherent in their causes. We observe every day that causes produce consequences. The way we do things becomes the way in which we are rewarded or punished. Karma is simply the fact that there are rules in the game of life, rules in creation, rules that cannot be violated. Our remote ancestors saw them, that things that they did had consequences and that these consequences were more or less inevitable. The individual who broke the common rules of life suffered. He suffered not because a divine power looked down on him and punished him. He suffered simply because he broke the law of cause and effect. We live in a world in which we have to be thoughtful of what we do if we wish to enjoy the maximum benefits of existence. We know that we are capable of improving our living or destroying ourselves according to our understanding and application of the principles of cause and effect. The individual is more interested in getting something that he wants or avoiding something he should face than he is in thinking about the law of cause and effect. He thinks that he can overlook rules in nature and that nature will overlook these mistakes. It will not happen this way because practically every mistake that can be made has consequences which are unfavorable. Everything we do right has certain enduring consequences for our betterment, improvement, and security. Therefore, karma actually is impersonal it has nothing really to do with what we want or what we do not want. Karma has to do with what we have done, why and how. It has to do with the simple payment of debt. It is like the individual who borrows more money than he can pay and in the end lands in bankruptcy. If everything we do has consequence, suppose we do nothing. Suppose we wrap up in isolation and sit like St. Simon Stalites on the top of a column in the Libyan desert, where we don't speak to anyone, we don't do anything, we live as nearly helplessly as possible, ask no one for anything, and tell no one anything. Would this settle karma? Yes, it would. But what is the karma of taking that attitude? The individual who sits alone long enough is paying karma right at that moment. He has given up making one kind of a mistake, has made another, and is sitting alone in the desert trying to understand the new mistake that he has just made. To do nothing, therefore, is not a solution. The only proper solution is to try, through study, thought, experience, to do those things which are useful.